Interstate gang, welcome back to the channel. We just loaded up over here. And, uh, what they call? I think it's cold, cold solution storage up here in, or maybe cold storage solutions up here in Euclid, Wisconsin. We had about a 85 mile dead here from our very last drop on our LTL. Found this load out of Wisconsin. $3 a mile, $3 plus a mile, going on down to Erlanger, Kentucky. Load of frozen turkeys, y'all. 37,000 pounds. And we are going to United Dairy Farmers. Uh, frozen turkeys. So we are loaded to the back doors. I took some video of it because I didn't like how the pallets look. So hopefully we'll be all right riding all the way down there gotta be able to cover yourself so this load is between negative 10 and negative 1 we got her right around we're gonna run her at negative 8 you know negative 8 where we're gonna run her at so we loaded up to the back doors 37,000 pounds of frozen turkeys first stop we're gonna have is lake station we're gonna meet up with little bro chop it up with him and then we're gonna get on down to Indianapolis together I'm gonna split off at I-74. No, actually, I'm gonna split off at I-70 because I'm gonna slide past the house and he gonna split off and take, he gonna continue down 65 to get on down to Georgia, y'all. So let's rock, y'all. Let's get on down to Lake Station.
right, y'all. We made it to Chicago. We in Chicago, y'all. I just decided to go ahead and go through the city. I ain't trying to mess with 294. Even it said it was clear, but I'm going to go straight through the city. I know once I get through this traffic, it ain't going to be much. So. And I think this is the only part of the traffic right here. So. Other than that, it should be good. I love coming through Chicago, y'all. I'll be clowning in this mug. Love coming through Chicago, especially when it's just, you know, we fly straight through and we ain't got to deal with no traffic. That's when I really like to come through. But uh, we about to get down to Lake Station, meet up with, uh, meet up with Floyd, see what he got going, and then uh, wipe down a little bit, and then we're going to get on down to uh, Indianapolis, get down there, take 65 down. But I'm going to get on over to Lake Station once I get to Chicago. I know I got to do it. But you ain't gotta be in your brace like that, bro. <clears throat> yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Y'all late night, y'all. You gotta find a way to stay up, man. You gotta find a way to stay up. So this left lane closed, so. See if we can get our butt on over in this right lane before everybody start hopping on over. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get on over. Uh, ain't nobody gonna let me over. We should be good from here. All right, y'all. Downtown Chicago. Yes, sir. About to get through this, y'all. Just want to make sure I get y'all the views. How how beautiful Chicago is, man, at night, man. If you've never seen it, man, you know, as a truck driver or just, just seen it, period, man. If, watching my channel from across the country a different country to show you guys what Chicago look like man it's a beautiful it's a beautiful city man beautiful city beautiful beautiful city I like to get in this left lane soon though Get a little bit crazy up here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get in there right now. Puts me out of the way from all of that. Get me out of the way of all of that. All of that over there can get kind of crazy. City, beautiful, man. As soon as I get in the tunnel, I'm gonna light it up.
Hopefully it ain't no traffic and we can just ride through. I keep my distance, man. Chicago, you definitely want to keep your distance. It be people riding on people's butt. Semis be riding on people's butt. It's dangerous, man. Traffic stop real quick over here. Y'all see the city? Yes, sir. We in the city, city now. We downtown Chicago, y'all. Downtown Chicago. About to light it up. Oh, yeah. stay in the left lane it kind of put you out of the way of all this merging traffic people getting off people getting on just keeps you out the way man keeps you moving yeah you can still have a situation but since you you know a situation like this right here chances of it is unlikely but you got people like this that merge super super slow or they want to they want to break in this lane to get over to this lane and you got people that cut you off like that so you got to kind of back off and let them have it, y'all. See this guy trying to get over, I'ma let him have it. I don't even want no problems. You gotta know how to do it, y'all. You gotta know how to move. Look at these 
people right up here, man. You gotta really pay attention, y'all. There be some people that's just doing crazy stuff. Look at this. gonna be up here let him know like man I'm about to be up here too man we can get to it he going down to Georgia I'm about to go ahead and slide past the house my Friday delivery down there in Cincinnati so I'm gonna get to the house do my thing then we're gonna get right back to it for that Friday delivery y'all yes, up here in Lake Station yes sir so we about to get to it y'all I got about 370, 300 and uh, something like that. About 300, maybe 290, something like that. So we're going to finish this night off, get to the house, park Big Baby, and uh, we get right back to it on Friday, y'all. Yes, sir. Friday, Friday, week nine, y'all. Week nine, we got five more weeks left. Real hustler, real hustler. Come on, man. Hey, Floyd on the way, y'all. He got a classic on the way, man. We ain't gonna say too much, but he on the way, man. He hustling too, man. He got it in him, man. He know how to hustle, you know how to do his thing, man. We stacking paper. And uh, we building, man. We building, man. That's all we doing. Already, bro. 
Come on, bro. Already, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Say original truck trapper. Yeah. The yeah, the only one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what's going on, y'all, man. Good energy, man. We're gonna get to it, though. Let's get to it, y'all. Alright, y'all, we're leaving Lake Station. Leaving Lake Station. Right, hop on 65.
gang we made it back home we made it back about three this morning and uh what i did was man i went through like thick fog all the way from like indiana coming out of indianapolis probably like maybe 20 miles 20 miles out of indianapolis on 70 going towards dayton i pretty much ran through fog so as y'all know when fog hit it build up a moisture and stuff like that so i had to get all of that stuff off of my my truck and my grill surround and my stacks last night so i wiped down for about an hour once i got in once i pulled in about three and then i got to the house about four so we ran hard we ran pretty hard last night so i'm just checking over the equipment make sure everything good pop the hood uh, i checked out the well which i'm gonna show you guys the well the well man it's it's a great well like i said he took the bracket off and welded both sides and they even told me like man you don't even need a new one this a whole forever man so i'm like okay cool but we still gonna change those brackets out and maybe we'll put that in a side box just in case one day you know something happened with those brackets i got an extra one so uh but we good y'all we at the house we finally at the house we delivered them all morning down there in erlanger kentucky so we're gonna chill out with the family today i'm excited everything worked as planned everything worked out the big man took care of me make sure i got here safely and uh, the equipment is good to go, you know, tomorrow morning. So we're going to leave out probably about 5 in the morning, 5.30 in the morning. We're going to get everything rolling. So today I can actually catch up on paperwork, uh, do some IFTA because it's time for IFTA. I already did uh, New Mexico and New York because I don't go through there. So it's pretty easy to come up to zero. But I know I got to do Kentucky and I got to do the big one where I'm doing all the states. So. But other than that, about to go home, edit some videos, upload some videos, get some content out for y'all. And uh, yeah, y'all, everything was good. Uh, rode with my boy Floyd last night. It was a good ride. Uh, we rode from Lake Station down to Indianapolis, so 100-something miles. So it was all good, and he had to get, down, get on down to Georgia. But I will see you guys probably later on. I'm going to go to Walmart, grab some more microfiber towels and stuff like that, and... Uh, yeah, fill, uh, fill back up on that stuff before I get back on the road. But uh, Friday makes week nine. We got five more weeks left, y'all. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep grinding. Let's keep hustling. Let's keep God first, and let's keep doing this, y'all. We're going we're gonna to finish out real strong. We had some ups and downs, but it was all worth it, y'all. But we still going, y'all. We got five more weeks left. I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, gang. Good morning. It's 4.50 in the morning, and uh, today is Friday. We got our delivery. Stayed home all day Thursday with the family. Came up here a few times, checked on the equipment, looked over the equipment, you know, make sure everything was good, wiped down and everything. So let's go get these turkeys delivered. We about to go ahead and go on down there to Erlanger, get some fuel down there at the uh, at the TA, and uh, get as much as we can. I think we got about three hundred dollars on the com check. We got about a half a tank, so. Yeah, we still clean, y'all. So we got 13 drops going up to Wisconsin. So we'll have a cool little, nice cool little week. And we empty out Wednesday. So over there, kind of a walk. So try to give me a load Thursday morning. Pick up Thursday morning and drop off Friday morning. So uh, back to it, y'all. Kiss the family goodbye. Told them I love them. Daddy'll be back. We got five more weeks, y'all. Five more weeks. That's a cakewalk. Let's get in this truck. Look over this truck and uh, get up out of here, y'all. Uh oh. Good morning, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Time to wake up. we go. 5.30 a.m. alarm. But uh, we ain't got none of those places, y'all, and I'm happy about that. So, uh, so we're going to get on down here and take care of business, y'all. Do that. So we get down here about 5.30, 6.30. Say closer to 7. 
then fill up, do what we do, and uh, get in, uh, get in over there at UDF. Get in over there a little bit early so we can get these turkeys off. Yesterday with the family, y'all. Nice little day. I enjoyed myself. Got all my clothes washed. So we should be good for these five weeks as far as clothes. Don't got nothing to worry about with the clothes. And uh, we got everything we need. We'll be hitting Walmart a few times. We'll probably hit Walmart on Saturday. But uh, my first drop ain't until Monday at, uh, it's pet, I know it's pet food something. But they super, super quick. And uh, I get in there early, and that's in Des Plaines. Then we got another drop, and then we got that venison bill. Look at these people right here, man. This is ridiculous, man. This is a hazard, man. Oh, look. Semi about to hit that, man. People crazy, man. But, uh... We got that one on Monday morning at like 5 a.m. So we'll get that off and then we got crazy Venisonville. But the thing about Venisonville US Foods, that appointment is at 10.30 and that's my last appointment for Monday. And that's the reason why I'm getting off Wednesday because you can't really schedule nothing after Venisonville because they take so long. They like jewel and everything like that. But I would rather go to Venisonville US Foods rather than go to Jewel any day of the week. Any day of the week, y'all. So, that's our only place that's gonna take forever. Other than that, everybody else pretty, everybody else pretty smooth, so. Let's get on down here to Cincinnati. All right, y'all. We just got fuel down here in Florence. No turkeys staying cold. They staying cold, y'all. I definitely won't park down here. It's always a cluster down here, y'all. But uh, we still clean. Coming on back down from the house. So happy about that. But uh, let's go deliver this load, y'all. Get this freight off. And uh. Go make pickups. We're gonna end the video out down there after our after our drop off, y'all. All right, y'all over here at UDF. But I think I might be going to the other side because this says Cold Chain Integrity, which is right on the other side of this building. But then it say UDF, so this is UDF. So I don't know. If this it or what? Ain't that a boy look? Ooh, wait. Let's check it out, man. Let's check it out.
offering for assistance. This ain't bad. What's up, bro? Man, I, it say UDF on it. Am I going? Am I, am I here or am I going to the other side? Man, they're already getting turkeys in. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know which building they're going to do it at this year. Yeah. No, it's not this one. Though. It's not. So go back over there, then. Is this the first one you stopped at? Well, I stopped at y'all just because it said UDF, but it yeah. also say cold chain too. So. And y'all pretty much got the same address, so. Do you have, uh, like, any kind of appointment number? Uh, um, that's what I was looking for out here. Uh, so he was saying, I'm, uh, they, they ain't accepting the targets. It's either them. Yeah, there you go, cuz. I see you getting it in, my boy. Yeah, get it in. So it's CCI Dash. It's either that building over there on the other side or it's this building, so. Let me look at my confirmation number and see which one we're going to. All right, y'all. So it was this side. So CCI is this side. Then CCI something too, or I don't know, it's that side. So we about to bag, bag up to door 10, but we're not going to open our doors yet. They're going to uh, come out, confirm everything, make sure everything match up, and then I can get unloaded. So. About to catch up on paperwork, logs, everything. And then uh, we be good. So. Let's get back into this door, y'all. Uh, got door 10. Back in. About to cut this seal. Let's see if we secure the bag, man. When I left out, when I left out, man, uh, I didn't, I didn't like how they put the pallets in here. Uh, and with the turkeys being heavy, they, they, they stacked them. They not high, high, but they high. They probably like up to my neck if I, if I get inside of here. So they high enough, but they not like head ceiling high. So. Let's see if we secured the bag, y'all. Oh man. We secured the bag. A couple of them fell down, but. Yeah, I was telling the doc dude, like, man, put this pallet on the wall and then had this leaning over there. But he was saying, man, trust me, bro, them things ain't gonna move, man. But yeah, he just trying not to do no work. That's all. I said, don't worry about it. I said, I got a video. If it fall, it's on y'all. So, but uh, we good, y'all. We secured the bag. Bag secured. We good. Frozen. Turkeys, y'all. Come on, man. Thanksgiving. Don't say I ain't bring y'all no turkey, Cincinnati area, Kentucky area. Straight, straight turkeys. I'm feeding the streets, y'all. I'm feeding the streets. Let's get these low locks off real quick and put them on the ground. Nah, we can put them up here. Nah, I ain't messing with them. Bag secure, bag secure, y'all. Let's get bagged in. Get this freight off. Don't load me in 30 seconds, y'all. We up out of here. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Literally 30 seconds, man. It'll probably about 15 minutes, though. Realistically. about 15 minutes so then the unit at zero so we can make our frozen picks 
probably done came up to about 10 degrees now, so it's gonna cut on. Yeah, it's at 13, so get her back down to zero. Gotta go in and check on your paperwork sometimes, man. People forget, they unload you, they do all this other stuff. They completely forgot about me. Paperwork been signed and done. It's already been two hours. I'm like, yeah, man, I, let me go in here and say something, man. I give you about an hour or so after you unload me, but after that, man, I'm about to start, you know, going in there and being proactive, man, so I can get up out of here. So. Uh that on me again let's go pick up y'all and we're gonna end this video out y'all we got seven different orders on we loaded from front to the back let's get on up here to the docks and we're gonna close this video on out y'all let's go let's keep hustling all right gang that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you gals enjoyed it and uh just trying something different that's uh i think i'm just a one hour long guy that's just the content that i put out most of you really do enjoy it i haven't really got any negative feedback on the hour-long videos you know so i'm not getting away from the hour-long videos just trying something a little bit different seeing what type of response that i get from it see how youtube you know grabs that video and pushes it out just trying to do some you know some some research and trying to do something a little bit different so trying something out so i really do hope y'all enjoyed it you know and uh Making shorter videos is, is a lot less headache, you guys, and 
you know, when you make an hour long videos, you got so much content, you got so much to cut up, so much to edit. It's a lot. When you make it the hour long videos, it's a lot, you know. Really, the videos be three hours long, but once I cut and edit and do everything, it come on down to like maybe an hour and 30, hour and 20, an hour flat, maybe 55 minutes. So, it's a lot of work, you know, trust me. But, another announcement that I got for you guys is I am ordering my trailer in September. So, for the people that may be coming up the mats, I will have my trailer in March, hopefully. I think it's a five month waiting period as far as like from the day that you order and uh, the day that you receive, I think it's like five months. So we will have a, a pretty much brand new truck and a brand new trailer. And uh, I go home the first week of September and I come out the third week of September and then we're gonna be out from September to the end of November and then from there we're turning our truck in y'all and I got a lot of content that I'm doing from just you know handing out checks picking up all of my equipment from uh from Lake Station and taking it on down to Greg and you know, I'm just not gonna have them ship all of that it's gonna be super super pricey shipping all of that uh all, all of that chrome so and uh, I'm still waiting on I'm still waiting on a few more parts. Uh, my grill surround trim from Jay Farrell. My boy, uh, my boy, uh, my boy Chris gonna get that for me. And uh, I'm waiting on a few more things. So, uh, but pretty much everything else is pretty much in line for everything to be done. And just waiting on the trailer. I gotta wait to order in September because new pricing don't come out till September. I couldn't order a 2025 because. I guess those are pretty much being, you know, they're done being built, you know, since it's going on 2026 year for those trailers. So it'll be a 2026 the trailer that I will be getting uh, once I order in September. So I'm excited, y'all. And I just want to show you guys with my page that, you know, anything is possible in trucking through hard work. That's all my page represents. It just represents hard work, dedication, focus, uh, committing to the grind and believing in yourself and knowing that anything is possible through hard work. I put everything, you know, on hard work, you know, and the big man, he made it possible for me. You know, he, he's giving me a, a gift to hustle hard and work for everything that I want out of life, you know. You don't just come out like this, you know, you gotta you gotta work your way up to, to being a hard work a hard worker and being able to hustle hard and being able to sacrifice. You know, I wasn't like this before, you know, in trucking and trucking in the beginning it was tough for me, you know. And I wanted to be home, it was tough and you know, sometimes it just takes a, a spark to, to to light that fire in you. Next thing you know, you just a, a hard worker. So I'm I'm blessed to be able to work hard and you know put the work in and work for everything that i ever wanted in life so but i appreciate you guys let's continue to like the videos let's continue to like the videos you guys please please continue to like the videos and put us within the algorithm of youtube share the video out tell a friend continue to subscribe continue to support we're only going to get bigger and bigger once once this equipment upgrade and the things that I'm doing in the future, I think our page will take off, you know, but for the people that may come in when our equipment is done, they gotta look back at the hustle. They gotta look at the grind, all the hard work we put in, all the long hours and not getting any sleep and really, really putting down the grind. So, you know, but for the people that's been here since day one, you already know the timeline from when I made my first video to when I do receive my truck and trailer, pretty much, you know, redone, brand new truck, brand new trailer. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the future, but we still got a lot more work to do. And uh, we're not, you know, we're not actually there yet. So, but thank you guys for all the new subscribers. Uh, thank you for tuning into the channel. Welcome to Interstate Gang. I'm hoping you're enjoying the content. Like and comment, share it out. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video, y'all. Peace.